guys, it's Mihika and I know I have been missing for quite a few months. Um, I was really busy with submissions but honestly I'm not going to talk about that too much because nobody wants to know why I was gone for so long. I think you guys are more interested in the video. Anyways, so I'm going to be trying Vietnamese cuisine for the first time and I'm really excited. Uh, if you guys want to know more about my history with trying new cuisines, honestly, I'm really bad at it. My palate and my taste for things is pretty limited, if I'm honest with you. So, I, I, I guess you could call me a picky eater. I, I don't know. Um, but anyways, I have tried quite a few cuisines, especially after moving here to Singapore. And specifically Asian cuisines, such as... Uh, Korean, Japanese, Singaporean, obviously, and um, I've even tried Burmese food, Chinese food before, uh, but I haven't tried Vietnamese food, so I'm really excited about trying that today. And of course, I'm not gonna go go alone. I have two other friends who are coming, uh, and one of them is Vietnamese, and I don't really know a lot about Vietnamese culture. I mean. I do ask her a lot of questions when we're talking and she tends to ask me quite a lot of questions about India but in terms of the food I don't really know anything so I am scared. Um, I, I think if you're wondering what I'm scared about it's really just more of like whether I will like the food or not but I, I, think, I think I will because I searched up do Indian people like um, Vietnamese food and it said that a lot of spices used in Vietnamese food is also used in Indian food and Indian people are really comfortable eating Vietnamese food and they really like it. So based on that notion I just hope that I will enjoy it too. Um, so of course since my friend who's coming is Vietnamese I will also be asking her a few questions about the food, about the country and um, I think through this video you guys will get to know a little more about the country and um, hopefully you'll be inspired to try more cuisines. I understand because of the lockdown some people may not be able to go out to restaurants but if there's any way where you could order food I think it would be a great experience for you to just try new food and not limit your palate um, or your taste the way I unfortunately have. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's start vlogging. And I'm actually late, so I gotta leave now. Let's go. It's really pretty, but I'm genuinely lost. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I'm here with my friends. This is Emily, Ashley. Ashley is Vietnamese and she's introducing me to Vietnamese cuisine. I look ugly. No. <laughs> okay. okay, this is... What is this? Uh, this is called like a special pho. That's what like they said on the menu, but basically mm. it's beef. Mm. And it's flat noodles with the broth, like I think beef broth. And then we have different cuts of beef. And then, what, what do you call this? Meatball. Like a meatball, yeah. Like a meatball kind of thing. And then onions, and that's it. It's very okay. basic, I would say. But then is this, okay, am I pronouncing it correctly? Pho? Yeah. And then is this like the main type of pho? Well, yeah, it is, but I mean, it's not like super traditional, but you know, I want to try it too. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chicken pho, huh? Thank you. It's a fried spring roll. Fried spring roll with chicken. What was the name in Vietnamese? Uh, I call it uh, Nam Zan. Okay. Nam mean like the spring roll. Okay. I mean fried. Oh, okay. But I think they just call it nem or more important here. I think. I'm, I'm not so sure. I haven't seen the menu again yet. Okay. <laughs> I only have two brain cells. I can't remember that much. But yeah, but I think you will like this. And these are just chicken. Yeah. 
mm. which is the same with this one, but the broth has chicken and a meat chicken. So. Why are you so like scared? It's <laughs> yours. It's yours. It's yours. Oh, okay. Thanks. Technically, in the soup, right? Mm. It's like uh, inspired from French onion soup. I see. Oh. Like literally everything. If you came from north side, it's very French uh, infused kind of food. It's like like pate, yeah, yeah, yeah. ben mi. Ben mi is baguette. Yeah. 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 Uh, I was thinking of ordering that, but then I realized that it might not be. Is it authentic? Like really, really Vietnamese? No, it is. It's a also national dish. But then, okay, so how different is that from a sub? From a sub? Yeah. It's so different. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, tell me you tell me how, how different it is. It, okay, in sub, right? You have mm. different kind of like uh, bread. Yeah, yeah. But most of them are like very oh, like grainy. Grainy bread. Yeah. Do you know baguette? Yeah. So basically all bread is, is in baguette. baguette. Yeah, it's, it's basically a recipe baguette. Hmm. And that they will spread in with butter. Pate, it's like a French spread hmm. made from, I think like duck liver or something. Okay. I can't remember what it is, but it's really good. And you would have um, like a lot of Asian things, like Asian. Uh, what is this thing called? What is this? Thing? Spring onion. Yeah, spring. No, what is it called? Like garnish? Different garnish, right? Like cilantro. Ingredient. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's called. But basically, like cilantro and mm, other, yeah. those types of pickles. I think it's pickle vegetables. And because it's zong. Basically, it's like. How do I say it? Like a meatball, like, like pork food process into like a. Yeah, like a meatball, I think. But it's not okay. Pork. But you know, like the pork meatball, like the meatball I just showed you? It's like something like that. Okay. Like, yeah. And I think that's it though. But usually it could be like different things. They could like now, they have like different types. Yeah. But like if I if I were to eat like a sub and then right after that eat banh mi, then like... I think banh mi is lighter. Okay. A sub is more like kind of bland. <laughs> I try it because like they also have too many <laughs> in it. Yeah. Like, have, they don't feel hearty. They just feel like I just eat a sub. I bought it from 7-Eleven. Okay. It's like a kind of cheap one. I mean, banh mi is cheap too. It's like a street food. Hmm. I don't feel the same, you know, feeling. Yeah, when. So, do you have that for lunch and dinner, or is that more of a, like a snack or breakfast? It can be anything. Okay. You can eat it anywhere, anytime you want. You can eat it at midnight too. It's yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, if you drunk anything, it will be so good. And I remember, right, back when I was uh, going to extra classes. This is one time I have to go extra classes. I have to stay until like 10 at night. Oh. Yeah. And so, like, basically, right, near my house, they will have this store you know, where they sell like midnight food. Like, you know, like how ramen store they sell like really late at night? Mm. So, we would eat that. So, okay, and imagine that in winter. Oh. <laughs> you can see the feeling is different. The feeling is so different. Hello, so sorry for the pause, but I just thought that I'd explain something before I roll the next clip in. After the Vietnamese restaurant, we took a bus and went to a mall um, and I didn't film that. So maybe the clip that comes after this would have confused you a bit. So we went to a Starbucks and uh, before you guys make any assumptions, I'm not a Starbucks gal or a Starbucks wannabe, whatever that is. Um, and yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, let's play the video now. Hey guys, so I am finally back home and five hours just went by so quickly. Um, I had an amazing time and I wish I did this more often with my friends. I of course didn't film a lot of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I know it's pretty short. Um, I am still like getting used to 
filming around others so hopefully in probably like one or two months uh, these type of vlogs where I take you guys along with my friends would probably be even more fun to watch I guess uh, one of my friends also helped me realize something about my YouTube channel she said that I could also try some different type of content being myself rather than curating um, my videos to be perfect and that really got me thinking so if you guys are interested in any different type of video that I don't usually put out uh, but you'd like to see from me please let me know I am ready to take up your suggestions and try new things uh, after all I'm doing this just to explore and have fun and my arm already hurts from holding my phone so I'm gonna say goodbye now Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And um, I will see you next time. Bye.